Hello, fellow subscribers. It's October the 18th, and in less than 24 hours, I have to bring yet a similarly bad news. Prophers, prophecy watchers reported here. Another soldier of the Lord has headed home for eternity. Unbelievable guy. Unbelievable ministry. Raz Dizdar passed away tonight. His wife Shelley is still in the hospital fighting the thing battle. Prayers for her. Many people choose to remain private about this, but there are multiple prophecy stalwarts who have battled that thing and recovered, and others are presently battling it tonight. It almost seems like prophecy teachers are being targeted. Perhaps we're more sensitive to this because... We're in constant contact with so many, and it goes on. What I can tell you is that uh, four weeks prior to these people coming down sick in this manner, uh, many prophecy uh, watchers had attended a conference. And after what looked like an incubation phase of four weeks, many of them came down with this illness that we're speaking about here. I cannot say anything else, but you will, I'm sure you can make the mat in your mind. So first it was Rob Skiba, and now Raz Dizdar. Raz's wife Shelley is also being held in a hospital. Steve Quayle is still fighting, he's still there. Yep, still Steve Quayle. And Dr. Michael Heiser is unfortunately undergoing um, cancer treatment. These people are losing the thing battle. It's something else, and I believe it's certainly an attack by the enemy to remove people who have been doing the Lord's work. In fact, as I scrolled further down, there's a, a post attached to this one and it's they're claiming that it can be an attack by frequencies which I cannot speak of here neither for decades now Russ and his people at shatterthedarkness.net have been working to uncover satanic covens and battle the ritual abuse across the country they have riled up the enemy and cut his forces down significantly. I pray they continue to do their work, even without them, and trust that the Lord will guide them. Remember that that evil practice of Halloween approaches. And now it's up to us. We need to pray against those those witches and their and their covens. And we need to be the salt of the earth, the light in the darkness, to spread the word, to make people aware that Halloween is an evil celebration and they should not partake in it. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam, all die. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 20 to 22. Please share this information. Share, like and subscribe this video. This, vi this channel is heavily shadow banned. It is a very, very sad loss to have lost Raz Dizdar in this battle. But take heart. We are the we are the resistance here. We are the army. We are the soldiers. We will carry on the battle. God bless you all.